Oh, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. What's up? Boys, this is easily one of the coolest cars I have ever seen. From the outside, it looks a little deceiving. From the outside, it looks like a normal just FRS, you know what I mean? It doesn't look like anything's like, you know. Right, right. Wait till you guys see what's underneath here. Dude, look at that. There you go. God damn. I think I've seen this two or three times already. Yeah, yeah. But every single time, I just, I love how clean it is. As you guys can tell, this is not a boxer motor. It's far from a boxer motor. Do you want to just tell them what you did to it real quick? Just... Yeah, absolutely. Like, original, I got this car, you know, uh, with a blow motor. Here we go with a 1J BBTI uh, stock battle man. Haven't opened the motor at all yet. Do you know how many miles you're at on the motor? Me personally running probably like less than 500 miles, man. Really? Yeah, I haven't been driving much, so you know, just oh, damn. getting out. Well, maybe a little more. As per when I got it, about 60K maybe. And you haven't done the head gasket belt or anything and it's still nah, running good? Man, everything is just... That's sweet. Yeah, I did that uh, compression test when I got it. The compression was really good on this motor. You know, with a top mount setup. Yeah. We have a board Warner uh, 257. Uh, it's capable for 600, but the more horsepower you got, the more problem you're gonna get. So. <laughs> yeah, I've Just wanna that. keep it simple, reliable, fun. How much power is it pushing right now? Uh, roughly about 400, 450. Okay. Uh, just a street tune, I still gotta, you know. Yeah, 400, you know. 450. I feel like that's like the best, like, best power range for these cars, because yeah, it's so man. light. This thing is like a rocket ship, man. You have to wait until you drive it. Yeah. yeah. And you still have like full interior and everything. That's what I'm surprised about. Yeah, it's a everything. genuine full street car. Yeah, what I have here is, uh, just a computer and a um, stock seat, stock steering wheel. Here I got the hydraulic e-brake just for drifting. Yeah. And then that's about it. I mean, there's really nothing here. BTI can gauge to see all my numbers of the parameter for the motor. This is impressive. Like, you know, for like a full swap, right? When people swap these cars and put this motor into it, like they'll make their engine bay look all nice, <laughs> but the interior will be gutted or interiors will have like wires running through everything. Like everything is so yeah. perfectly nice and neat. Uh, you know, I had the 240, right? Yeah. S13 with the 1J. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, I want to have a race car and then that become too much, man. Like <laughs> I, I ended up like gutting it, putting a cage into it. It wasn't enjoyable driving it like in the street or, or yeah. going on, on a meet or something you know it was just too much this time i just want to keep it simple because last time it was just too much simple simple yeah I mean, as simple as you can get a one just simple. Yeah, yeah simple you know i do have a, a partial max full angle kit in here mm -hmm. now from my inner cooler i got two radiators on the side i took this from my porsche though because i open uh, i have a porsche boxer uh-huh so I opened it up, right? Yeah. In the front, I was like, holy shit, they have two radiators on the side. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I would just do this on the car as well. <laughs> and this car just run cold. I have an oil cooler on top of here as well. Got you know, it. It's, it's, it's kind of tucked in oh, here. Oh, it's though. tucked under? Okay, yeah. that's sweet. I love how like clean and simple it is Dang because man. like it's not over the top, right? But then you pop the hood yeah. and you're like, damn, like I did not expect that whatsoever. Like yeah. it, it really catches you by surprise. This thing is super, super nice. Yeah. Let's run through the list real quick just in case anybody like, you know, is curious. 1050X injector from Yicto Dynamics, mm -hmm. fluid damper, crank pulley, whole service like in general, like the O-rings and stuff like that, you know, like the seal. Top mount turbo, but we're at 257. Oh, yeah. and uh, wiring specialty harness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, ECU master stand on ECU. Okay. That's pretty much it though. And also I have a uh, twin disc. Okay. Uh, always got twin disc. And then what trains do you have? I run the R154. R154? R154. That's the six speed, right? Or no, five speed? Five speed, five speed? Yeah, okay, okay. Five so if you want to go the six speed route, you have to get CD009? Yeah, you gotta get the CD009 and then also you gotta get the adapter plate. So I didn't want to go all Frankenstein. Okay, and gotcha. I want to keep it like simple. So how is highway driving with this thing in fifth gear? Like, what do you cruise at? Like well, <laughs> highway, if you like redline it, you'll yeah. be at 120. Really? Yeah. So what if you're cruising at like, let's say 70? 70, I'll be at four. Okay. Four around like, 5,000 RPM. Okay. But if you want a fifth, you could go 70, 80, 90. You know, it's still yeah. comfortable, yeah. A lot of people like the sixth gear. You can highway drive with it. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, how many times do you honestly highway drive with yeah, this thing? Yeah, not really, man. <laughs> I, I, I just bring this thing over the weekend, man. Weekend fun car? Yeah, weekend fun car, you know. It's nice, dude. Building the other one, that, uh, the other FRS. Oh, yeah, because your lady has one, too. And He's working on another one, which is crazy. For how big the, this motor is yeah. and compared to the boxer motor, oh, yeah. it yeah. looks almost like it belongs in here. I love the way you tuck the wires and everything is like nice and neat. You know, it's not just like Frankenstein hoses and every, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. Well, that, that was one of my concern on this build because my last build was all over the plate. I was like, you know what? I want to have something cleaner this time. So I want to try to tuck everything away. I don't want people to see any type of wiring, yeah. vacuum hoses or, or everything just, you know, throw around. Kind of isolate everything, you know. I relocated the fuel box. The fuel hose is sitting here. Mm -hmm. I push it all, all the way to the back. Yeah. And then the wiring come from behind the fender stuff. 
Oh, so you tucked it under here. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, sweet, so, that's sweet. And also on this side, I haven't really finished. This is the ABS module. One thing that you really need for your speedo to, speedo to work. When I got this car, it was good. I mean, it's, it's impressive that you got it running, dude. You drove from New York. Yeah. We're in Jersey right now. Yeah. This is the third time I've seen you in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. So you drive this car I drive a car, lot. Yeah. And like I said, like everything looks so in order. Everything looks like it belongs there. Like even all the hoses you use. Like I love the fact that you use clear hoses. Yeah, I, I wanted to see that, uh, you know, because this thing cell, cell bleed itself. That's Every cool. time that I fill out coolant, I don't want, I, I know that there's no bubbles in there. I, I know I keep saying this over and over again, but Thanks, the fact Thank that you. the wiring is all just tucked nice yeah. and neat and all the hoses are heat wrapped and just it looks yeah one, perfect yeah, one other thing for this car uh, for this motor is just heat man so what I rad do you have i have the coil rad i have the okay. stock coil rad okay yeah. and then the uh, side two rads which well, what are those uh those are uh, from Charles, uh true focus I have them uh, custom made uh, two different sizes of radiators yeah but overall man this thing has been running really good man pretty dial yeah I drove it to club loose send it and then broke drove it back <laughs> <laughs> you, you drove it down to New Jersey from New York, yeah. went to a drift and went, and then went back home. And went back home. That's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love the way it looks. Like you got the carbon hood, carbon trunk, and then the carbon yeah. over fenders. And then the dual calipers in the rears. Yeah, I got that, uh, the partial max uh, drum knuckles uh -huh. with the dual caliper uh, mount. Mm -hmm. So it's two calipers. And then you also got some big brakes in the front. What are these? What is it? CTSV? Is it, is it what it is? Oh, CTSV, yeah. 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 Uh, conversion brakes. So what? They just yeah. bolted right up? Yeah. So oh, really? Rockets, yeah. Interesting. I, I need some brakes. Yeah, yeah. This thing stopped good. <laughs> and everything in your interior works, right? Your speedo and everything. Yeah, everything works, man. That's everything awesome. works. Everything works except that uh, air conditioner. Except for the air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling him, I was like, I want to do a swap so bad. And he was telling me like air conditioning is going to be a real pain in the ass to put in. But I was like, I don't want to do a swap unless it's air conditioned. Like, I, mean, I really have to figure tight. out a way. If it takes an extra few months to do it, I might have to just do it. This is a stock motor. Yeah. And I feel like this looks more messy than yours. Is it? Yeah, dude, oh, this, is, yeah. this is all over the place. Yeah. And that looks so beautiful. I think that's so funny. The fact that like this is a stock motor. Uh -huh. It just looks so ugly all over the place. And like, this is so nice and clean and this was all done by you. It looks like it just fits nicely and right? just, it belongs in there. What is it like uh, like uh, The Pandem kit. The Pandem kit. Yeah, yeah. Man, this thing is so aggressive. <laughs> Thank you. You're gonna drive my car. You, <laughs> you're gonna see the difference between the clutch. Yeah. Best of all, we got AC. Oh man, I'm so <laughs> jealous, man. Come on, why would you do this on me? Dude. Like, this is soft. Yeah, dude. It, it drives like almost like a Camry if it was like manual. Yeah. It drives super soft. You can drive this thing and it's not like, you know, it's not like a true race car, you know? Right, it's yeah. It's comfortable. That's why, like, I'm like, the last thing it's missing is right. speed. Speed. <laughs> if it had speed, it would check all the boxes. Hey, try ripping it, like, you send, like, you know. Yeah? yeah it's not gonna go anywhere, man. <laughs> oh, it does actually cut. Yeah. Oh, it kicks. It's so slow. <laughs> nah, it actually is pretty quick, though. It's, it's faster than the old one. You should have drove it when it was stock body. When yeah. it was stock body, yeah, it drove a lot faster. But that's like whining sound. What, what is that? The tires. Oh, the tires. Yeah, yeah, they're oh. insanely loud. <laughs> <laughs> I drove your car. Yeah. You can drive my car. Yeah, I'm ready, uh, man. I'm ready. Who wants to see Bobber stall? Usually racing pads are uh, 
a lot more, a lot louder. What, once they heat up, it goes away. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, average. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even. Oh, it's it's the first like. You gotta be very aggressive on the on the throttle or very gentle on the on the clutch. Yeah. God, I want it so bad. <laughs> we went over the engine bay a lot, you know, because yeah. that's like where like, that's my favorite part that's about the car. Part. All around the car, you want to just, uh, the wheels, and I think we kind of briefly went over it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. If you want to just explain like a little bit more. Absolutely, so I did a, a brake upgrade, you know. Yeah. The city, uh, the Cadillac conversion mm -hmm. uh, with a big Brembo is on the front. Now, Advance RG3s, yeah. you know, with 235, 4017 on the front. Dual caliper setup on the rear with the P, uh, partial max, uh, uh, knuckles. The body kit is a uh, Rocket Bonnie version one. Mm -hmm. You know, carbon fiber wrap it. The lip is a uh, is an eBay lip. We got a Treston uh, from out in the color. Uh, True Focus wrap uh, radiators on the side. Yeah. I have a uh, True Focus uh, bash bar underneath. And then we got a Saibon uh, TS style. Uh, Carbon hood. Yeah, I got a Saibon uh, carbon trunk. What taillights are these? I've seen these before. These are some eBay taillights. All the arms were done. Uh, SPLs arms, uh, yeah. partial max all arms. Okay. Yeah, solid bushings on the on the subframe. Yeah, definitely cool. Super, super cool. Dude, thank you so much for hey, letting me drive man. this and riding it, dude. My pleasure, man. It you, was you, literally. You, you want to try? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I kind of want to right now. <laughs> Anything you want to say, bro, to the camera? Hey, man, it just uh, just pursue what you want. Hell yeah. If you have a dream, just follow it. I had a vision for this car two years ago. At some point, I wanted to stop doing it. I thought about the long run, you know, I'm gonna have this car running, it's gonna be like this, like so, I want it like this, so I just keep pursuing what I want, and here it is. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I Coolest mean, thing. I think that's the hardest point, just keep yourself, keep yourself motivated. Yeah. On focusing what you want. No, you know? I agree. Yeah, yeah so I, many people give up. Exactly, so just, if you have a vision, just follow it and just go through it, man. That's it. You, you get it. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, slowly but surely. <laughs> Damn, man. Thank you so much, bro. Hey, man. Good seeing you, man. Appreciate and you, bro. Yeah, man. I Guys, mean, do not forget to pleasure. follow him. Thank you again, <laughs> man, for everything, man. You know, for having me. Here. Thank you, bro. Excited. Yeah. I'm excited to see this car again. You guys will see this car again in the future.